Hello friends, so in this video I am going to share with you another amazing feature of ChatGPT4. This feature allows you to create your own GPTs or AI within no time. If you are a person with absolutely no coding background, this is the feature that lets you create amazing applications. So for this you need to be a plus subscriber of ChatGPT. Once you are here in ChatGPT4, you need to come all the way down to the bottom left side of the screen, click here, and then click My GPTs. Once you go in the My GPTs tab, you find out these options. Create a GPT, customize a version of ChatGPT for a specific purpose. So for illustration purposes, I just spent a minute or so generating this funny poem generator. So let's see how we can create a GPT. So once you click the Configure GPT tab, you're going to see a window like this. On the left side of this window, you can name your GPT, you can give some custom instructions, and on the right side, you will get the preview of what your GPT looks like. So here we've got this image for the GPT. You can upload the image using DALI tool or any one of your photos. You can also name your GPT. So once we name our GPT, see the name starts appearing over here, funny poem generator. This is the description of the GPT. This GPT understands the scenario and creates a funny short poem out of it. So our description comes under the name of the GPT. Below the description, we've got the instructions. So in the instruction, ChatGPT expects us to define what GPT is, how does it behave, and what it shouldn't be doing. So we have given a pretty generic instruction saying this GPT generates funny poems in simple language. The poems are short, funny, and easy to understand. This GPT also avoids any racial words. So, Below these instructions, you have got conversation starters, examples for the user to start the conversation. So here we can give multiple guidelines. Hi, please share a scenario for a punny point. And it's going to appear over here, right above our prompt bar. Or we can give up to four or five different instructions. Say, hi, please share a poem in Latin style. So that's a generic instruction. You can give any conversation starter over here and it will appear on top of your prompt bar. Knowledge tab. This is where things get interesting. If you want your GPT to get the context from a data set, you can upload as many files as you want. So GPT can understand the type of different poems and train itself on that and make sure that you get the response according to the data set it got trained on. You can enable web browsing, daily image generation, whatever you want. And the last thing we've got is actions. So this action enables the GPT to interact with other applications using API. So that's a topic for our upcoming videos. We'll leave it as it is. Let's put this GPT to test. So we are going to give this the prompt and see what sort of poem this GPT comes up with. So we'll type something like, so here we have a pretty generic prompt. Hey Chad, please share a funny poem about an underpaid employee named Harris. He left his job and pursued his dreams of starting an online business. Harris wants to get rich. So let's see what sort of the poem we are going to get. In an office dim sat Harris quite grim, counting pennies his wage so slim. He dreamed of gold, his ambitions bold. To start a business, a story untold. One day he stood in a mood so good, I'll leave this job as I know I should. <laughs> To the internet he dashed, his hopes not smashed, an online empire from his dream he has. So that's a pretty decent poem, and that's what ChatGPT is capable of doing. So you can either share this GPT with everyone, 
once you click that it's going to get uploaded on the gpt's tab as shared in earlier videos or you can share it with anyone with the link or you can keep it to yourself so these are the options regarding the gpt you just prepared so just explore this tool and let me know in the comment section what you think about that up until the next video